What's up guys, I hope you're well, I hope you're blessed man. Um, wow, today's a strange day. Strange, strange day. Um, Migos, rap Migos, sorry, rapper Takeoff, um, he's dead, guys. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. Um, died last night and apparently, <laughs> guess, guess how silly this is. It was over a dice game in Houston. Like, over a dice, like, do you know what's crazy about that? It's like, two years ago, he probably was like, he's on top of the world, he's a Migos rapper, he's, he's successful, he's got money, he's got his family around him, his kids, and it's like, it literally got shot over a dice game. Like, that's that, that's why life can be so scary when you look when you're a kid like that, it's like. From two years in two years' time, I could be killed over the most stupidest thing. And do you know what? When I saw the news, the breaking news on my phone, I was literally just on Instagram, right? And it just popped up. Migos member shot dead. I was like, what? How? Like, I, I just couldn't believe it. He's 28 years old. It's not like he's an older man. Like, he's a young man, 28. I mean few years older than me it's just crazy and he's just life's just taken over a damn I, I don't know if it's just reportedly over a dice game but it just makes you think man is that what really like this is what life's about like is this really what it is it's, it's, it's about you know and the funny thing is is I was shocked but I wasn't surprised I was shocked but I wasn't surprised and Again, I'm not gonna knock down on all Americans here because it's not every single American, but you've got some damn violent people in your country, man. You've got some very corrupt, angry people in that country. I don't know what's going on over there, but the last few years, it's been hectic. School shootings, the violence over there has been off the charts. And that's not to say that over here in the UK, it's not bad. I mean, knife crime is awful i mean two years ago it was really bad it was sky high this year i haven't heard too much i mean you do again you do hear people get stabbed from time to time absolutely but it hasn't been as bad as of recent we've had more campaigns more people joining the cause to stop knife crime which is a good thing but over in america man you lot need to set up some kind of campaign or something because i mean again you can't how can you stop that how can you stop someone over there? You, he, he may not even have known that he, he had a weapon on him, man. It's just, it's just crazy over there. I just, just what I'm seeing from this side of the world, it's just crazy, man. Like, and, I, and, and I honestly, if someone said to me, Jordan, I've got two plane tickets to go to America tomorrow. You can go anywhere you want. Huh? Damn, well, you better go and choose someone else to go over you because I ain't going. I honestly would not. I don't want to go to America. Like, I, I, I really did want to go to New York because I've never been to New York before. But I am. I don't think I'll ever go. Unless it improves in the next 10, 15 years. And when it, maybe I'm a bit more, I'm a bit older. But as of now, no chance. I ain't going no way near that place because I don't know. And my life could be taken here, but... I, I really wouldn't risk my chances over in America. It's just, what is going on, man? 28 years old. Unbelievable. We're going to be listening to The Breakfast Club anyway. That was just my brief on the story. I don't know too much, but maybe these guys know a little bit more behind the context of the story. So let's get into it. I'm killed in an event. This is according to Say Cheese TV. And here is a report from Lieutenant R. Wilkins from the Houston Police Department discussing an incident that did happen, although he did not name who the victim was. Hey, we're here at uh, in between Dallas and Polk on San Jacinto. Uh, we got one male that's deceased. He's right in front of uh, the 810 Bowling Alley, uh, which is on the third floor. Looks like he's been shot in the head or neck, possibly. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of information. We know it happened somewhere around 2.35. Uh, there were some security guards that were in the area, but they heard the shooting, but no one saw who did the shooting. Um, a lot of folks were there. They were in front of the bar. The bar was actually closed at the time. They had the doors locked, but people were congregating out on the balcony wow, area. Wow, wow, wow. And everybody fled. We've got some oh, video footage, but not very well. Everybody fled. 
homicide investigators are coming. It would be great if anybody would come forward and tell us what occurred, because right now we really don't have a whole lot of anything. Well, TMZ has confirmed. I don't know if that matters, but yeah, TMZ has confirmed. All those people and nobody saw nothing? Is that what the officer think, said? Come on. That's what the police I officer think they're still said. waiting for well, people to come forward and give information. Well, exactly. It should be they didn't say anything. Right. Yeah, yeah, but, and that doesn't mean that they won't. You know, there's video footage, and I'm sure they're still gathering information, as mm-hmm. this was just a couple of hours ago. Yeah, they not only, you know, I, do I hope they do, they should, because, you know, a human that'll do that in a bowling alley in front of all those people, you think he would have people. any remorse for you? No. Did he have any remorse for one of your loved ones? No. And there were false reports before that that Quavo was shot as well, but he was not shot. He's fine. He was there, though. Yes. And Quavo right. was there. No, nothing. So, again, is this, is this uh, a personal attack or is just just a random attack? Because for me now, it's like maybe there's something. It's got to be personal, right? Because it's like, why just shoot Takeoff? Why not shoot Quavo? Like, you know, the, it seems to me like there's some kind of personal thing going on here. But... Again, we don't know too much at the moment. You know, I can say right now that doesn't sound like I'm reading off the same old script. Condolences you know? to Condolences his, family, to his family. family, his friends. It's you know, it's rest in peace. It's just very sad. And I would say, don't you know? I, I don't very call sad. him just a rapper, though. You know, more, that was a that was a black man. He was a human. He has family that loves him and cares about him. And you know, they don't call him Takeoff. And the media will say rapper Takeoff shot and killed, but that's someone's family. And that man's family is waking up this morning, seeing the news online, hearing it on the radio. Just think of that when you're. You know, reporting on this story today. And Girl, nobody wants to see the pictures and the eight. videos that everybody's, uh, you know, I see that some people had some pictures on the scene. Like, mm-hmm. okay, calm down, oh, everybody. That's, I think, disrespectful man, that is, to right. be posting things like that. 28 years old. The brother didn't even get to see 30. That is so freaking sad, man. 28. Uh, all right, well, we will keep on updating you as news is coming in. Hopefully there will be <sighs> some information shortly on who was involved in this. All right, Albie Shore was hospitalized in a coma for two months. And in a post that was shared on social media, Albie Shore Jr. was thinking. Okay. I just, honestly, guys, I can't go over it. Obviously, that was a short video there. Um, I, I was going to do a music reaction video, but again, copyright and all that stuff. But I just can't believe it, man. Like, again, it's, I'm not surprised, but it's a, it's a shock. Man, he didn't even get to 30. That's why every single day, man, honestly, I wake up and I'm grateful that I'm I'm still breathing. I'm, and I'm not even being that deep. I, it, it, that is what it is. We Most people, we wake up and take things for granted. We wake up and we don't realise that we're lucky to be alive. We're lucky to be in the positions that we're in today. Whether you've got a roof over your head, the country you live in, like... If you don't take that blessing and, and, and be grateful for waking up every single day, being able to breathe this air, then a hey, you, you should you should start doing it. I'm telling you because 28, like I'm not far from 28, guys. Like I, that's a scary thought, man. It's a scary thought. And again, I don't know whether the, his parents like imagine not outliving your parents. Like that's just crazy. Like your parents got to see you die, like. They brought you into this world and they you're gone before them. Their legacy is like imagine if you if you were the only child, like the legacy, their legacy is gone. Like it's just insane, man. Like and, and do you know what annoys me and frustrates me the most? Guy had no no emotions about doing it. He just thought, I'm gonna kill him. Whatever, who, who, whatever it was, I don't care what it's over. Like, there's no, there's, you have no right to kill another human being. Take the life and soul out of another human being, especially the family members now are going to have the repercussions of this. Because again, take off, he, he's gone. But it's the family members, the close friends. They're the ones now that are going to be suffering for the years to come. And that's what I don't understand with these guys that just think, oh, I'm going to take his life. You think you're a big man for taking someone's life. It's, coward, it's a cowardly way, cowardly way to go about things. If you've got a problem with a man, you take him away, you talk to him. What the problem? Surely that your problem cannot be as, as bad as taking a life. It cannot be that bad. That's what I don't understand what goes through these people's head. If you're a serial killer, it's completely different. Like, you're, you're a psychotic guy. But random guys shooting up guys over this, over money, over that. Like, come on. Why? Like, have you not grown up yet? Like, have you... Have you? There's been enough shootings in America as it is. 
It's like, do these people not watch the news? Do these people not read? Like, I don't understand. Like, the way we're going as as a as a human race at the moment, man. Like, especially in America, like you got people going up shooting kids. You shooting kids? It's crazy. I honestly, I'm 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 glad I don't live there. I'm honestly, I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I'm I'm not hating on American people and hating on the American Americans that ha you know have to go through that on a daily basis. But honestly. I would not go anywhere near that country. I wouldn't. Not for the next 10, 15 years. And again, I don't know whether it will improve. I'm telling you, because if if they were in the UK and they were living on the outskirts of London, they had their securities around them, they had friends, they're, they're not getting shot up in a bowling alley like that. If you come to the UK, you I have never heard someone being shot in a bowling alley. A stabbing, I've heard, okay, in the club, he's at the club and he got stabbed. But shot at a bowling alley. If someone got shot in a bowling alley down the road or in Park Royal or wherever your bowling alleys are, you'd be like, what? Like, you'd be shocked. You'd be like, no, no, so surely not. That's the, that, that, that kind of level of insanity, that's just, that's another level, man. But anyway, guys, that's enough of my talking now. Um, listen. I want to say I hope you enjoyed this video, but I just had to pay tribute to him because, again, I like the Migos. I think they were very, uh, they were very, very good rap group. Again, will they continue doing music without Takeoff? I don't know, but Takeoff was a part of them. He he made Migos, and it's it's a tribute to him, man. Um, heads up to the family as well. Like it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a hard, hard long run for them. That's and they're the people that you've got to you got to look after and respect so all these videos and all these these people man they need to they shouldn't even have phones taking pictures and images of people man like they need to they need to delete those because that's just disrespectful to take off it's disrespectful for all the family members and the fans that love them or love take off um but yeah guys let me know what you want me to react to next um and i will see you in the next video